Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are talking about missing wavelengths in front of one of the slits of the Young's double slit experiment. Here we have arranged the system in such a way that let me draw the diagram for us. This is slit S1, this is slit S2. The distance between the slits is small d. This is the screen where we are going to get a bright and dark spot. The point that we are considering is exactly opposite to one of the slit, where the distance between the slits and the screen is capital D. Then what are the wavelengths missing in this case is the thing that we want to calculate. So the path difference created between these two can be found by drawing a perpendicular line as we have done multiple times. So we can say the path difference delta x between the two waves on reaching the point p delta x is s2p minus s1p. But being a right angle triangle, we can write s2p could be written like right angle triangle. So s2p can be written like square root of capital D square plus small d square. So delta x will become root of capital D square plus small d square minus small d. We want to simplify this further. Whole power of half minus d. So if I have taken capital D square common from here, 1 minus d square by capital D square. Of course, power half is there, minus d is there. So simplifying this further, by using a binomial expansion theorem, that 1 plus, as we want to calculate what this value is, x plus y all power n n c0 x power n y power 0 n c1 x power n minus 1 y power 1 and so on now 1 plus small d square by capital D square whole power half is half c0 1 power half all power 0 and c1 is nothing but n that is half 1 power 1 minus 1 all power of 1 all further terms are ignored because next we will get d power 4 in the numerator small d power 4 which is very small so we can ignore that this is 1 1 c0 half c0 this is also 1 this is also 1 Next, this half, this is 1, and this is d square by d square. So its value will be 1 plus small d square by 2 capital D square. Substituting this value here in this equation, d square root of the d square is nothing but equal to the d. We can write 1 plus d square by square minus capital D. So this will be d square plus d square d. Oh, it's not d square, it's only a d. d into 1 minus d. Then d and d can be further simplified and cancelled. So the remaining value is nothing but delta x is nothing but equal to the value of something like as we have simplified delta x value we have found it as this d and this d can be cancelled d square by 2d is the remaining value once if you know the delta x we can substitute in the formula y dark is equal to capital D by small d y dark the missing wavelengths could be written like 2 into lambda 
or else we can write a formula capital D by DF delta X where delta X is nothing but equal to this value now so we know the formula for the dark spot delta X is 2m minus 1 of lambda by T minus 1 of yeah delta x is 2m minus 1 of lambda by 2 we have found that delta x has d square by 2d so 2m minus 1 of lambda by 2 so the missing wavelengths whatever you want to calculate is when m equal to 1 we know for the bright spot it starts with m equal to 1 it will become 2 minus 1 that is 1 lambda by 2 that implies lambda becomes 2 into d square by 2 capital d that is d square by 2d d square by d only these two got already cancelled similarly substituting the values of m equal to 1 2 3 onwards if you calculate the wavelengths that are missing because you are talking about a condition of a dark spot we got the values like first d square by capital d d square by 3d next d square by 5d and so on these are the wavelengths that are going to miss in this point all other wavelengths will be available thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you